this video we're talking about how much credit we should actually be giving the shoulder MRI, but first, our disclaimer. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT411. Thanks so much for joining me. If you already haven't done so, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Also make sure you check out thept411.com. Now I do have to say that this video talks about orthopedic problems with MRIs, problems that are skeletal, musculature, joint, tendon, ligament related issues. I am not saying not to trust an MRI. Sometimes we can have some doubts, but definitely trust them. There's other applications, gastrointestinal, oncological, and so on. We need to listen to them. We're talking about MRIs to the shoulder. Hopefully things aren't that bad with the shoulder that we or our physicians feel that there's a need for an MRI early on in the process. There are signs that we can pick up on where, yeah, we might need that MRI sooner than later. And MRIs can give us a good picture, that visualization of what the shoulder looks like internally. And the MRI has been used as the gold standard with diagnosing problems and injuries. Yes, the MRI can help with that, but it should not be used as the gold standard. It's just one tool, one aspect of evaluating problems. MRIs definitely, definitely have their limitations. They are very sensitive, just means that they are very good at pointing out everything that is potentially a problem, everything that might be causing our complaints, but they are not specific at all. They cannot tell us what is actually causing our pains and our limitations. False positives and non-symptomatic findings do show up. Now these studies show that degeneration and tears to many different structures and tissues of the shoulder show up in asymptomatic people. People who have zero pain and limitation to the shoulder can have arthritis, bone spurs, tears to the rotator cuff, biceps, labrum, and so on. All these showing up on MRIs just because we have pain in these findings does not mean that that is what is causing our pain. It might, but does not mean that it does. Now these studies show there is an incidence of false positives, MRIs that show problems that end up not being there when looking into it with other imaging techniques and even surgeries. And I know that this is somewhat anecdotal, but over the last 10, 11 years, I've seen many people who have had MRI results that the surgeon did not see when they went in there for that repair or that cleanup. I've seen people that went from mild to severe problems on MRIs that responded very well to PT. Now why does all this matter? Well, we need to know what type of injuries we have so we can treat it properly. We don't want any unnecessary treatments. It is a big waste of time. It can also mean big surgeries that we might be able to avoid. It can also save us money. Now the guys at Get PT First found out that those who try PT before getting the MRI on average save just shy of $5,000 for their care. The biggest thing that we can gain out of all this is we can avoid fear and fixation. As an example, let's say we're having someone with their shoulder pain. Now they end up getting an MRI, it shows a rotator cuff tear, now they are fixated on that. They want the treatment specifically for that, whether it be some PT or surgery. And after that, any other input or diagnostics or just white noise. They get ignored in favor of the first information that is given. Same with someone with arthritis. Now we have someone hyper fixated on the arthritis diagnosis, which cannot be fixed with PT, but that might not be the problem. We take them through the examination, determine it's possibly something that therapy can actually help with, but the individual does not get on board. They stay fixated. They stay focused on the arthritis and the pain. They end up avoiding exercise. They avoid movement. They end up not seeing therapy through if they try it. And over time, their status deteriorates. They keep blaming that regressed status on the arthritis. Now basically what has been seen cannot be unseen. You can tell someone about an elephant, then tell them to stop thinking about it, and they'll still be thinking about that elephant. The big takeaway message here, it is liberating to find out that many different things can be treated with very, very simple treatments and exercises. We have much more control over our bodies than we actually think. Don't overthink the results of an MRI. 
Don't let a working diagnosis sentence you to a life of fear and activity avoidance. Give therapy a try. You may be surprised. Again, I'm Dr. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT411. Thanks for joining me.